Hello, everyone. My name is Austin Kiesel, and I'm a solutions architect at AWS. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate AWS Web Application Firewall or AWS WAF's dashboards capabilities, which are available by default and require no additional setup. These dashboards leverage CloudWatch metrics and highlight metrics such as total request, block request, allowed request, bots versus non bot request, bot categories, captcha solve rate top 10 match rules, and more on a per web ACL basis. AWS WAF is a web application firewall that helps protect web applications from attacks by allowing you to configure rules that allow, block, or monitor web requests based on conditions that you define. These conditions include IP addresses, HTTP headers, HTTP body, URI strings, SQL injection, and cross-site scripting. These dashboards provide enhanced visibility and help answer questions like, what percent of my WAF inspected traffic is getting blocked? What are the top originating countries for the traffic that's getting blocked? What are common attacks that WAF detects and protects me from? And how does my traffic and traffic patterns from this week compare with last week's? To show you the feature, let's go to the AWS Management Console. So I'll go ahead and start by selecting Amazon WAF and Shield Service and the AWS Management Console. From there, we will navigate to Amazon WAF and we will be presented with the Getting Started page. To access the new dashboards, go to the AWS WAF Console and click on the Web ACLs in the left, left navigation bar. From there, you can click on any Web ACL to see a dashboard specific to that Web ACL. So let's go ahead and click on this specific Web ACL. And from there, we will land on the Traffic Overview tab. The Web, A Web ACL Traffic Overview dashboard provide insights into web traffic that the Web ACL evaluates in its determining actions that the Web ACL and its rules apply to the evaluated web request. If we look a little below, we can see the data filters, and this data filter allows us to specify the set of web requests that you want to have summarized in the dashboards. You must provide a time range and optionally select a subset of terminating rule actions to examine from among the available actions, such as blocked, allowed, captcha, or challenged. Below the terminating actions underneath the data filters, you will be able to see two tabs, all traffic and bot control. You can then select the tab for the contact that you want to view. You can view all the traffic for the web ACL, or if using any intelligent threat mitigation options, such as bot control, you can choose a tab for that to view traffic characteristics from the point of view of that specific option. You can analyze these dashboards further by viewing them with CloudWatch. Now, let me go ahead and walk you through the dashboards to show you how to interpret the different metrics and visualizations in WAF. So we're already underneath the all traffic tab. And from here, we can start to look at all the data that's been populated into this dashboard. So if we look down here, we have five action categories that is going to fill this dashboard, which are the total amount of requests, the requests that have been blocked, the requests that were allowed, and the requests that need verification with CAPTCHA and challenge request. So if we scroll down a little bit more, we go ahead and see this first dashboard. We have a line graph here that shows us the action totals that have taken place, such as blocked, CAPTCHA, allowed, and challenged. If we look over to the right, we can see the the request for the top 10 rules that match the most requests during our selected time range. If we scroll down once more to see some traffic characteristics of bot detection and client device types. Under bot detection, this will count for non-bot activity and for verified and unverified bot activity. This includes only bots labeled by bot control for common bots. And on the right here, under client device types, this shows the different device types that clients have sent requests from, which were originated by web request user head, agent headers. So if we scroll a little more down to see all the types of attacks that were identified, such as SQL injection and cross-site scripting. On the other hand, we can see the top 10 countries that have sent the most requests uh, as well. This will lead us into the top 10 managed rules, rule labels area, which shows us the top 10 common rule labels added to those requests by AWS and AWS managed rules, marketplace rules. On the right here, we can also see all those requests that have been terminated by those um, 
manage rule groups that you're using inside of your web ACL. Lastly, this brings us to the captured dashboards, with the left one here showing us all the successful captured puzzle responses from the end user as a percentage of all the puzzles that the capture action served. And on, and on the flip side here, on the right, we can see all the capture puzzles that were abandoned or not solved successfully. So today we demonstrated how to use AWS WAF dashboards and to see the general traffic overview and how to filter it via both the time range and terminating rule actions. We also showed that these dashboards are available by default and require no additional setup. All you need to do is have your web ACLs in place and the dashboards will populate it as it occurs in near real time. To learn more about AWS WAF, please scan the QR code here or the hyperlink in the video's description below. Thank you and happy clock computing.